Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be building this heavy duty elevator which I use for aircraft carriers. But before we get into this video, here's a list of people who subscribed to my last video. If you subscribe to this video, in the next one, you will be featured. So, it's not too much to explain, but people have been asking for this. It, it's the elevator which I use for my carriers. It is very stable and very powerful. So, here's a little bit of a overview. So, it's an elevator, right now it's just this weight here. Uh, it goes up and down very nicely very smooth and also it will max out once it goes to its max so you can't uh, take it out it's like I'm holding R and it's not coming out like that but I can also just bring it back down slowly and smoothly or you can also increase the speed as well and the thing that is really uh, cool about this is that if we uh, is have to put it we go. I have to take gravity off to put this on, and then, ugh, there we go. This is a block full of black ballast uh, beams, and I'll show you the calculation of how much weight that is. So you can see it's lifting that, and it can bring it back down. It's a little bit unstable, but you'll understand by when I say how much weight this is. I'm gonna switch over to my phone so I can get a calculator. Okay, uh, oh, it's good here. So we have 40 times 78. That is how much uh, weight we have in ballast blocks. And then we divide it by 0 0.28. And that gives us how many blocks that this is equivalent to, which is 11,142. Okay, so what I'm going to do, uh, so if you see here, you can see these are all wedges, they're all, you can hear me click in as well. I'm going to click in all of these and they are all 40, so, yeah. So this, this here, can lift the entirety of, so now back on the computer, this can lift the entirety of my aircraft carrier. Or, it can most likely also lift my Azrael, which is a massive spaceship I'm making, or the Yorktown. Uh, it's just insane about how much weight this is. Do keep in mind this also works with just one or two, but do, um, by the way, this also does work with only two struts or three struts, but keep in mind that every time you do it, you're going to be reducing it, or the, the maximum it can hold, lift. So this can lift about uh, 5,500 if the forwards uh, 11,000 but I'm still but still I'm pretty sure you're not going to be lifting 5,000 plus blocks with an elevator and if you get rid of this it would be about 2,750 so yeah very nice and a great success okay so let's get into the tutorial so let's say I want to fit it in this little box here so that's one two three four five six seven eight we get by again one two three four five six seven eight yeah so it's 64 uh 64 blocks in the middle bit uh so what we do if you want to have it super flush you just get wedges place them uh on the boundary like this so that they make a like smooth thing but they don't actually uh, bond with the uh, frame. Then we'll see what you want to get to do is get a to keep it flush as well. Oops, you want to get a corner wedge, and you want to make it so it's like this. Uh, and we're going to place it like that, and it should fill in. So like here, and it should fit in. Uh, that fits in, and like that, and then that is a kind of box with a frame that can move out like here see okay now you just fill this middle bit in with whatever block you want it could be fabric as well if you want extra um like stuff if you want extra grip you can have fabric let's move this all the way up uh, this, keep in mind you do want to keep it on in the lowered position while you're making this. Uh, okay, just like that. And then what you want to do, you want to have 
however tall you wanted to extend to is how many blocks you would uh, carry this down. So let's say I wanted to extend to one, two, three, four, five, six blocks tall. I would put six blocks below it. I'm going to do a four -er this with this. That. Okay. Uh, and then you change these to fabric. These pillars to fabric. Now what you want to do, you want to get a conveyor. F and R, you can change these to whatever key binds you want. R will be up, so if you have it facing down, so you see the uh, tra things are trailing down, um, the second key bind will be what brings it up. So all you want to do, you just want to surround these. Like that. Uh, make sure that the conveyor bit is going towards the um, actual pillar. So like if I were to do it like this, that would be incorrect because they're not actually in with the pillar. So you want to press uh, R every time you want to rotate. So then you don't change the orientation. Also keep in mind you don't want to um, uh, make contact with the bottom of this plate. So like this. So like this is incorrect because I put it to the bottom of the plate, or well, the, the bottom place, yeah. So like that. Uh -huh. This, this. The ones on the outside can be all the way up. You just surround it. Keep in mind, you can you. You can do less pillars if you want, because this will yield the same strength as the bigger one. So this will also lift 11,000 blocks. Okay. Uh, not that. And the reason why it has so much... And Okay, now what you do, you get some wedges. Uh, if you go to wedges, go there. There. You can, you can cover these, you just want to make sure that they are connected. So like this, and here as well. You want to make sure all these are connected or otherwise they'll fall off. Or they'll kind of split in half. Okay. Like this so. And there we go. And now the final bit, you get a spring or suspension. You get suspension, you just place a normal suspension underneath the pillars, and you set, set the stiffness to 1. And that. This will keep them on track and stop them from wiggling around the place. <coughs> now all you do, the final bit, you connect these pillars uh, with the thing at the bottom, whatever you want like this, and you can just leave it like that, but because it's in the air, I'm going to put an anchor block. Okay, I'm just going to yoink the seat from here. I'm going to colour this all in with 1990 because it's a nice pri primer colour and you can see kind of what's going on. Okay, and also you want to connect these top pillars as well. It's like that. Oh, I, I'm not using ankle block. And also you want to connect these top pillars as well, like this. Or just connect them to the bottom of the base plate. Main part seat. Okay. Like this. Oops, so I made a mistake. You can see here that I connected to the base plate, so that's why I didn't work my previous testing. Uh, what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to add a random anchor block. Uh, like here. Set it to anything. This as well, three. I'm not going to be using them. So you can see, and if I press R, it extends. And it brings it back as well. And. It's very nice, so if I try extend it, it won't go any further. And you can see it's gone up to six blocks, and it can come back down really smooth and makes a really nice, like, gap. Color. It doesn't jam or it doesn't glitch as well. So, yeah, that's pretty much this for this video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and yeah, see you in the next one. Bye, guys!